Welcome back guys. Um, so today's going to be a bit of a strange video and I apologize in advance for it. If you have missed anything that I've done so far, click here for a quick review. It's definitely worth it. I have done a lot since the last time that I saw you and I apologize for that. But truth be told, after our last video, we're more or less done with the gross construction work that we were doing. You know, there's nothing big and nothing grand and great uh, to really be doing. Most of everything that I've got left to do is essentially detail work, right? So you can see like I've got lights in behind me. I did some work on um, getting the polisher and work area lit up. I've got a couple more things done here. I've got a cutout on the other side of this. So this is actually technically a functional bench now. But let me show you all of that really fast because I, I took pictures, I took a little bit of video. Um, I can run you through the updates really quickly. Hang on. First, John used a masonry drill bit and concrete tapping bolts to mount the bracket for the Orion 200 i2 welder. Then I ran cabling through the countertops and powered it all up. After that, I designed a template in Rhino to use as a guide for the new bench top inset, then cut it out with a vinyl cutter. Once it was applied, I just traced it with a jigsaw. With the new inset in place, I used a 4x4 fencing post as a mounting bracket for the GRS Benchmate base plate, punched out the bottom of the drawer and replaced it with leather to form the new catch pouch. With the bench and welder sorted, it was time to deal with the lights. I broke out my soldering station, rewired the transformers for the LED panels I'd picked out, ran some wiring, and boom, lights. Here's the test fit of the LED panels above the welder and tool area. Here's the test fit and staining of the wood paneling I made to surround them. And that brings us here, to the money shot. Now that you're caught up, uh, let me tell you about what's going on today. So it's not, it's not a ton, it's not a lot. I do have a couple more problems to get fixed, to get solved um, before I'm, you know, done, done. Uh, what I've got going on now is functional. Like the workspace can be used. We are using it. We have been using it. It is the best. It's so much better, right? But I've got a couple things. Um, I want to run a plumbing line. Hopefully this shows up right out there. Um, basically, I, I don't want to have to walk over to a sink and get a pitcher or anything like that to fill up the steamer or the ultrasonic. I want all of that to be, you know, right there. Uh, so I'm going to run a plumbing line and probably put in a long handled sink over there that I can move over wherever it needs to be. The other thing is that the lighting here is atrocious, right? It is either not reliable sunlight, like today's a bit cloudy and it's not working out the best for me, or at the absolute best, it's this fluorescent nonsense. So I'm going to go ahead and rip out the fluorescence today. I'm going to replace them with rows of track lighting uh, that I can better used to control the lighting situation over here in general. Uh, that means that I can, you know, put in bars or spots or whatever I need when I need it, you know, just whip, ap, right there, right in the track, right? So I will show you guys that right now. What we do here is go back, 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 back. So I'm going to take a minute and explain what is actually going on in here because I know the camera angle is terrible for this. So this thing whacking me in the head here is just the light cover. It's that uh, weird, sharp, plasticky thing that sits over the lights. Up above me here is the four fluorescent tubes uh, and then the inverter that makes them work. Uh, what's actually holding this thing in is more wishes and kisses than anything else, believe it or not. There is one screw up there that is holding in where the conduit comes into the back of the light. So I've got to undo that screw and I'm just going to go ahead and clip the wires. Uh, once I do that, I should be able to just pull the whole light fixture straight out of the ceiling. Uh, I'm doing this for the first time, believe it or not. Uh, and it's important to me that you guys don't take my word for it when I tell you that this stuff is not as difficult as you might think, right? You're actually watching me do this for the first time. So hopefully it goes off well, and hopefully I don't like make a huge fool of myself or fall off the ladder and die, something like that. But, you know, I... Believe in yourselves, like, you know, you can do all of this. I'm doing it. It's not that big a deal. Let me get back to it. I'm really excited to get these lights in. Turbano, light fixture, out. So that's one of two. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. And then I get cracking, I'm putting in the new one. Ooh. 
I will say offhand guys, this is why people hate working on stuff in drop ceilings. If my luck is holding out, uh, you'll, you guys will really get a pretty good look at this. So it's way darker in this corner back here, obviously. Uh, but all the rest of the lights are on. I went ahead and turned everything back on so I could check, make sure nothing's got messed up. It would appear that one of my fans isn't working, but that's okay. I'll figure out how to fix that. Not a big deal. Um, I've got track light strips. I'm going to get to installing those. Very, very excited, guys. I hope that's showing up on film because that loop of wire there is super convenient. steps and maybe not in this order I don't know are to put in the missing ceiling tiles so these appear you know so they look correct and then also of course to actually wire them into the requisite switch so let's work on that Almost looking normal, guys. I have just remembered that I really should go turn the power off. I'm back! Alright. So, these are the terminating blocks, as I guess I would call them, or the box they come in calls them a uh, live end. But basically, the wiring goes on this side, and those little blades, if you can see them sticking out, uh, interface with the rails that go all the way down the um, words, tracks. They go all the way down the tracks. Uh, so basically, you just open this up, put your wires in, wire everything internally up in the ceiling, uh, and it's good. So I'm going to prep my wire blocks really fast, and then I'll be able to install them, and then wire everything up to that hanging nightmare over there shouldn't kill me. So I've got these, and I've already installed nice bright white LEDs in them. Uh, I need probably two of them um, angled specifically to cover the bench, uh, and then maybe two or one more, I'm not sure, for the main work area because, you know, all of the countertops and everything are lit up by the LED panels that I put in before. Uh, the reason why I chose track lighting is not for the appearance. It's for the va uh, variability, right? I want to be able to make sure that if in the future there's something where like I've got to get the light correct uh, to get a good shot for you guys, I wanted to make sure that I could get as close to a light stage as I could. You know what I mean? Like I've got variable lights. I can put whatever I need wherever I need it and it's useful. Plus these little boxes can be used for just about anything. So if I need to hang like anything that needs power off the ceiling, I can, microphones, cameras, what have you, right? Uh, I'm gonna put these in before I turn the, the power back on and we'll see how it goes.
There we go, guys. So I don't know if it actually shows up on camera, but these are on and working. At least three of the four are. So I know the wiring's right. I must have a bad bulb. No big deal. All right, so my lights are in. They all work. I've got them positioned correctly. Uh, they illuminate the bench from two different angles, so it's, it's awesome. Um, you can actually see behind me where the light cuts out where that fluorescent takes over, and it's terrible. Uh, but that's in, that's done, that just leaves me with two things. I've got to do plumbing, and I've got to do this backsplash. And I just got back from picking it up. I finally found a supplier for it. We've got the cork sheeting that I'm going to put on the back. So let me reposition the camera really fast, and I'm going to do this whole backsplash. It's going to be awesome. in there uh, you can see some white spots on it those are actually whiteboards they are magnetic whiteboards which is even better uh, so what those are actually there for is one to complete you know the backsplash but two it's it's a work surface it's not actually a kitchen backsplash so we can use it to like tack job bags in place leave notes and stuff it's it's there to be useful right and it, it really is it's awesome it's the best I'm super excited that I got my lights in I'm thrilled that I've got my cork border in. Uh, that leaves me with one thing. I think I just got to do some plumbing. Um, and those will be a separate video. So look forward to doing the plumbing to get that sink handle to fill the ultrasonic and steamer in. And also look forward to the video where we customize the bench. Because like I told you guys this morning, everything behind me is now functional. Right? We can actually use it to do work on. Um, but... Building a bench like this one is in the details. So there's a lot that's still to be done. Like, I think if you were uh, paying attention to what I showed you earlier, you'll see that the back of this is just entirely like drawers and pockets and all kinds of storage spaces, right? Uh, so we'll be building like inserts for the drawers to put all the burrs in and the pliers and cutters and all kinds of stuff, right? There's, there's more coming and I can't tell you guys how thrilled I am. We're coming up on the finish line, which is awesome, right? Um, but it's been such an amazing trip, right? I, I'm so thrilled with what we've got here and I can't thank you guys enough for being with us while we were doing it, right? As always, we would love to hear your comments down in the comment section. If you want to check out the high resolution gallery of all of this stuff, click here, right? Uh, and then if you want to check out the next video as soon as it's up, click here. Right? Until next time, hopefully tomorrow, uh, or whenever I decide to do my plumbing. Uh, it's been a genuine pleasure, guys. I hope the rest of your day is amazing, because I know my whole day was amazing. I'll see you guys again real soon.